Hi, this is Lynn, and welcome to another Persuasion Bite, bite-sized tips on persuasion that you can use right away. We've reached part three of the three people who usually say no to us at work. We've covered Olivia Overwhelmed, who's either chronically or temporarily just too busy. We've also talked about Deadweight Danny, who isn't interested in being productive and efficient and being a team member and advancing, which takes us to the third person, untapped talent Terry. And in this instance, let's call Terry her. You ask for a volunteer and hers is the last hand to go up, if it goes up at all. And what you see when you look at untapped talent Terry is somebody who's timid and anxious and doesn't ask for help and is afraid of making mistakes. And often what you hear from her are, I don't know how to do that. Or how do I start? Or what, am I, what happens if I mess up and I make things worse than they were? And ultimately, you also see her as somebody who gives you a little bit of a smile and keeps her hands folded because that's what people do when they're trying to comfort themselves when they're anxious. What do you do with untapped talent Terry to get her to step up? Well, first, you realize that's who she is and that she really can do these things. She just lacks the confidence and the skill rather than the ability. And you sit down and have the conversation with her about the things that you see she's capable of that she may not know she is and talk about the type of training and support she needs in order to get there. And it's not just training to do her job now because untapped talent Terry does have the ability to move beyond the current position and into higher roles in your company. She just needs to know that it's not all up to her, that she will get some help and support along the way, and you are the person who's going to do that with her. So here's the truth. We have Olivia Overwhelmed, Deadweight Danny, and Untapped Talent Terry. When you treat Olivia and Terry with neglect, what ends up happening is that too often they can become deadweight Danny. When they don't feel supported and when they don't feel relieved from overwhelm or groomed for something better, they just settle back and do as little as humanly possible, which is a drain on your organization. And frankly, you're paying for people who are not doing the sorts of things that they can do to move your organization ahead. So you as a leader need to recognize who's who here and get support for Olivia Overwhelmed. Come clean with Deadweight Danny and let him know what the consequences and rewards are for continuing the behavior he has and find ways to support and train untapped talent Terry. When you do these things, these people either move up or move out. And that's what you want from all of them. And when you have these conversations, knowing who they are and knowing what they want and what they're afraid of, you become the most persuasive person in the room and you'll see the productivity of your team advance. Thanks for watching.